everyone. Welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're in Taipei, Taiwan, and we're visiting Taiwan Board Game Design at their studio. Next to me is Mooks. He is the manager of TBD, and he's going to bring many games to Essen this year from Taiwan. You guys are kind of like the hub of a lot of Taiwanese publishers, right? Yes, we always bring a lot of games from different publishers in Taiwan to different conventions in the world. It's really cool. So one of the games they're going to bring to Essen is Taiwan. Yes. So, <laughs> of course, right? So we can see right here. This is this is very familiar to me. I grew up in Taiwan, so this is the map of Taiwan. I see a lot of cars that have resources on them. This is a re, uh, tableau building game, which remind me a lot of games like um, Dominion, but it's not a deck builder. So, Smooks, tell me a little bit about how to play Taiwan. Yes, my pleasure. And Taiwan is a table building game for two to five players. And everyone will roll the dice. So it's a dice driven game. So you roll the dice on your turn, you get different resources and uh, money or some workers and merchants. And you can use this resource to build different buildings into your tableau. And different buildings can give you some different benefits, like some give you resource, some give give you some permanent effect, and some give you just victory points. And the special part of the car is that each car has a time as our grass on the car. So when you build it, you put it onto the specific slots. And it tells you how many rounds you, it requires to finish this building. When you get the building finished, you get the special abilities and you can get the benefit from the cards. Yeah, it makes sense because we can pay for the building costs, we buy the materials, but it takes time to build the building. Yeah. So it, it makes sense for you to have to wait until the building can ta take effect. But you get the points like, right anyway. Yes, you always get the points even if, even if it's, it's not finished, but you get some minus from the, the time if you haven't finished. And the game also has some area control elements. Like you can see there's four different areas in Taiwan. And whenever you build this, landmark cards, you can place your inference token onto the specific areas and you get some bonus points in the end of the game. It's also a very important part in this game. Okay, so now comes to the strategy. You know how to win this game and you mentioned some stuff already. So give me a strategy tip on how to win at Taiwan or be successful at Taiwan, the board game. Sure. Uh, in the beginning of the game, most of the players, they will focus on what resource they get by roll the dice and also uh, buy the card they want or they can pay for. But the area control element is ac actually play a, a big part in the game because they give a lot of points. And by building this landmark, you get, uh, you get to place your token here and you can also use one action that is called charity donation and you can pay money and resource to put your token here. So you must pay attention to the uh, tokens here. If you can get the majority, you get a lot of points in the end of the game. So it's uh, one very important part that might be missed in the, in the game. Okay, yeah, because if you look over here, this card right here is three points, but in this situation, there are five tokens right here. Blue player has the majority, so blue players will actually get five times two points, in this case, 10 points, even though they kind of have to work at it. But yellow player will get five points because basically the majority will get times two and then the second place will get times one, right? What about in this situation? Uh, so this is a tie, there's a tie, but the first come, the first player to press here, break the tie. So the blue one will get six points and the yellow will get three points. And red will get nothing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not. So red, you probably should have built something and put a token right there so you can be number one. All right, so that is one big thing. But you can also, if you um, don't build these to get the bonus one, you can also make the charities to basically put your tokens down. And that, that's a lot of points. All right, Smooks, is there a particular cards there that you recommend the players to go for right away or to watch out for? Yeah, there's an interesting card. Like the red one, they are most uh, attacking cards like this tax bureau tax bureau irs yeah something like that so if you finish building this building uh from the the turn from the round uh all the other players will lose three dollars in the income phase uh one time or uh, 
permanent effect oh. every every round. But the red car has a, a special feature is that there's, there, uh, there will be only one car of the same type that is active. So if someone build a bureau and you the other players may want to also build another bureau so that you can kick out the other players bureau car and you will be the one with the, with the benefit. So my IRS is the real IRS. Your IRS is going to go somewhere else. Basically just like that. Yes, yes. Okay, so watch out for that. If somebody builds, I feel like this is one of those cards that if nobody builds it, it'll stay there. But if someone builds it, everybody's going to start building. It. Yes, yes, something like that. You either, either play safe, peace, or you play very aggressive. Well, well, someone started it, right? Okay, so thank you so much, Smooks, for showing me Taiwan. It's really cool because the cars are actually based on actual locations in Taiwan. And if you look at the landmarks, every landmark is actually different. So uh, when you build it, you um, really get to get a feel of what Taiwan is all about. And you... You know, I'm from Taiwan and I play this game. I even want to revisit some of these uh, landmarks myself. Thank you so much for showing us Taiwan and thank you for watching. Show me how to win. Bye.